So here's a difficult question. I've been asked this many times and it's not exactly an easy answer. The question is this, for the Christian wife who says, gosh, I'm coming across all these verses in the Bible that tell me that I must submit to my husband, that I should let my husband be the leader. But here's the problem. My husband is very controlling and, and he intimidates me into following exactly what he says and, and I feel diminished as a person, like I have no value, my opinion doesn't matter at all, everything is done his way. Is this really what God intends? Well, part of this is a very simple answer. No, that's not what God intends because if you actually read the totality of the Bible, husbands are instructed in Ephesians 5.25 to love their wives in a selfless way, not selfish, selfless. They're supposed to give themselves up for their wives. That's how they're supposed to love you. And at 1 Peter 3, 7, God instructs husbands to be considerate of their wives. Oh, so no, your husband should not be controlling you and intimidating you into doing exactly what he says, exactly how he says to do it, so that you have like no value in the relationship, that your needs, your feelings, your opinions don't matter at all then your husband would be grossly out of line with what the Bible says. So how do you find this balance if you are in that kind of situation where on one hand you're reading that you're supposed to submit to your husband, but on the other hand you might have a very controlling and maybe even a intimidating or bullying kind of husband. What are you supposed to do? Well, I would suggest praying for God to change your husband's heart, of course, Pray that day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, because I've seen God do amazing things in response to our fervent and persistent prayers. Secondly, I would suggest that you find a time and ask the Holy Spirit to give you the timing and the right words to say to gently bring this subject up with your husband, not when you're in the middle of an argument, but say, you know, I'm feeling like my opinion doesn't matter that much. And when we have a disagreement, I really appreciate it if you would consider my opinion and maybe we could actually work together toward a, a compromise that does reflect a little bit of, of my concerns and my feelings as well. Would you be willing to do that? If he says, yeah, okay, fine, then press ahead and, and gently remind him when the next disagreement comes up. But if he says, no, you know, I'm the leader of the family, blah, 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 your opinions don't matter, then it's probably time to see a counselor or your pastor and say, you know what, I can't live like this anymore where I am treated like I am worth nothing. My opinions, needs, values are worth nothing. I wanna be your partner in life. I, I want to work with you, but I do matter. And so I need, I need you to go with me to see a counselor or a pastor. Hopefully he will agree with that. If not, then again, you have to decide if this is the hill to die on, if this is worth fighting for, and, and this is going to be an individual decision for each woman, but for me, I know if I was being treated like that, extremely controlled, where my opinion doesn't matter at all, my needs, my feelings don't matter at all, I probably couldn't live that way. I know I would slowly die inside, and that isn't the life intended that God intended for me, and I'd probably then say, well, if you're refusing to see a pastor or a counselor, then I think we're going to need to separate for a while until you can actually be willing to meet with someone who can help us navigate through this and figure out kind of that balance between you being the leader and me being valued as well.